Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. And this is going to be the new part of the video. I figured I should do something fun and more interesting. Well, not necessarily fun, but good W for the ladies at the very least. So, ladies, it seems like you are trying to prove me wrong, and um, I'm all for it. Um, maybe you got, maybe there is some fight in you left. Maybe you ladies are really starting to kick the can and saying no to this transgender BS. And with that, you have a utmost respect. What we have here, ladies, is that we have female boxer withdrawals from competition after being matched against male fighter. The job, ladies! Keep on fighting, keep on fighting. The only way you guys are going to get your rights back, you're going to keep your ability to have your sports, is keep on doing this. If you if you stumble, if you falter, if you go back to your horrible ways of allowing and voting for these type of people to be into your uh into your sports, then you get what you deserve. However, there are some of you that are finally putting a fist back, putting a punch right in their face, and that's all I wanted. Good job, ladies. We have this here. A female withdrew from a professional championship in Quebec after learning that her opponent was biologically male, leading to him winning the competition by default. Dr. Katia Bessonette of Sengue says she was matched against transgender fighter Maya Wumsley with no notice. The 2023 Provisional Golden Grove Championship took place on October 27th and 29th in, a, in the Victoriaville, Quebec, hosted by the Quebec Boxing Federation in collaboration with the KO96 Boxing Club. By the tournament, which intended to give novices the opportunity to qualify for the Canadian Championship in December, attracted controversy after Bezanet announced her withdrawal. Speaking to Redux, Bezonet, who worked as a psychologist in, Je in John Quare, I apologize in advance, my friends, if I butcher these names. I am not good with French or anything with these names that are not familiar with my own language, and even I fumble that. Explains that she learned Wumsley was male one hour before she was set to step, step into the ring. I came down from my hotel room to re head towards the room where all the bosses were warming up. My coach suddenly took me aside and took me and told me he received information by, te by text message, which had then validated that my opponent was not a woman by birth. We did not have any traditional information, she says. While information on Wamsley is limited, Bessonette says she he has absolutely no history fighting against women in Canadian tournaments, suggesting his identification into uh, his identification into women's sports was recent. Wamsley is originally from Australia, but moved to Canada two years ago to attend Concordia University. This is what I'm talking about. These men, if you even want to call them that, are not for, are not wanting to enter um, fairly. They want to be able to easily get the money and humiliate women, and that's all they want. And the Democrats only want more power, so they're trying to cater to the far left to, uh, you know, obviously keep that power to the insane people. And, of course, women are slowly, but obviously, waking up to this insanity, and they're not standing for it. Now, I have the utmost, uh, utmost respect for you ladies that are fighting back. Now, as I said, and as women are on my channel, you will have my respect if you're actively fighting back against this stuff where you don't agree with it, etc., etc., and especially if you're in the sports. However, if you are ladies that are in sports, and you're not fighting back against this, and you're letting it happen... Um, then you deserve everything that's happening to you. Sorry. I am not going to support or endorse la ladies that are not going to fight back for what they believe in and for themselves. It's, uh, full stop. You're not going to get that support from me. However, the ladies that are fighting back, like this individual here, and the ones that were doing the, uh, jiu-jitsu, or the one, or the, uh, old lady that was, that did it getting against the pool, and Riley, and Riley Gaines, and some of these other women that are fighting back against this insanity, you get my support, and you get my respect. The ladies that are not doing this, well, again, you don't get my respect, and you get everything that happens to you because you're not fighting back. Uh, the only ones that have some leeway, and I mean some, are the kids that don't handle fight, especially kids that are ages um, kindergarten through, honestly, eighth grade or what have you. Yeah, they get more of a pass, mostly because um, they're ki they're really kids and they don't understand anything that's going on, especially if they're uh, in in kindergarten through, obviously, sixth grade. I mean, come on now, let's be honest, they they don't know them very very much better. All right. So, 
Again, they ain't gonna pass. But the rest of you, you're you're on thin ice, all right. But good on job on fighting back. That is the purpose of this. Uh, Wamsley would have boxed as a man in Australia, best because it says in Quebec on his file, it is mentioned that he had zero fights as a woman. Since moving to Canada, Wamsley has been involved in political activism at the university level as master student and teaching assistant in the philosophy department. Recent interviews with Wamsley show he has an overtly masculine appearance. Following Bessonette's withdrawal, Wamsley issued a statement to the press accusing her of outing him and warning that similar actions would have a negative impact on female athletes. Uh, yeah, th th she should out you because you're actively trying to destroy women's sports and you want to get a free win. That's the only reason why you guys are entering this and that's the only reason why you're uh, bad. And no, it's not going to have a negative impact on female athletes. You know what it's going to have a negative impact on? It's going to have a negative impact on transgender men or women, wherever you want to bloody call them, I don't care. Or it's going to have a negative impact on them because they don't get their free W. They don't get their free... Oh, we won their free money. That's why. And they don't also get the woke points. And they don't get the, uh... And they don't get the satisfaction of being a woman. Because, you know, that's okay, right? Of course, I'm also w w fair with equal left, equal rights. So, if women, ladies, if you're gonna start beating on a man, no, I'm also not on that side to where you don't... Where the man can't defend themselves. Now, if you throw a fist at a man, you better suspect an extra right coming right at your face. But, again, neither here or there. These are the people that want to destroy them. They don't care about women. They say that they care, but they really don't. They just want to eliminate you women from your sports and have full control and get free money, free publicity, and humiliate you at the same time. Rather than turning to, returning to me, my coach, or the Quebec Olympic Effect Box, Boxing Federation for more information, she, she decided to turn directly to the media to out me, wrote Wamsley. This kind of behavior puts athletes at risk of being excluded or receiving personal attacks based on hearsay. I'm afraid that this type of accusation could eventually be used to de de with athletes in the women's category and justify arbitrary invasive regulations. No, because... Again, you are you are angry because you don't get to get your free W. Where's my free W? I want my money. I want to humiliate women. That's 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 you. That's you being an idiot. Uh, Wamsey went on to assert that the best policy for gender self-identification in sport was for athletes to trust each other and to refer coaches and policies in a certain that matches were made fairly. Right. By not telling women that you're a biological male and then entering it and then you beating the ever-loving crap out of them. I mean, I, I specifically remember one instance where um, a female had her skull cracked open during a boxing match that was by a biological female biological male that was posing as a female. But Bezanet rejects Wamsley's apparent call for handshake-based policies, knowing that even under established guidelines, it was unclear how he had been allowed to enter the match. The rule issued from Boxing Canada to the Quebec Boxing Federation was not to reveal that the opponent was transsexual so that the latter would not be discriminated against. However, after confirmation, the this policy only applies when a sex change has taken place before puberty, she explains, noting that because Walmsley is a foreign national, his transgender history is entirely unclear. Yeah, exactly, because he because he wanted to beat up women, essentially. Uh, following the best withdrawal, the competition was unable to find another woman in the super welterweight category of 165 pounds to match against Wamsley and won by default. The Quebec Boxing Federation was reported aware of Wamsley's biological sex, but justified the fight by saying that he had chosen an appropriate referee for the match. Ultimately, Buzzard says her decision to withdraw came down to safety. According to a study, a male blow has 63% more impact than a woman's, even adjusted for weight, she says, referring to a 2020 study on strengths published by researchers at the University of Utah. In the group studied, the weakest man remains physically superior to the strongest woman. Bison goes on to know that women's participation in combat sports is recently, relatively recent, but may not last much longer if females are potentially paired up to fight males. Yes, exactly. And as it should. This is from Redux. In response to Redux's exclusive report yesterday, the North American Grappling Association has issued a full policy revision. Trans identified males will now have to compete in the men's category. The female category will be exclusively for women. As I reported before. So, yes. Good job, ladies. You are doing a good job on fighting for your rights and your ability to keep your sports and not have to lose to these horrible people. You have my support. 
you have my you have my respect and only the ones that are fighting back the rest of you that are hiding in the corner not saying anything and letting your other fellow w women down you don't have my support in fact you have my utmost disgust I respect people that put up a brave face and have courage for fighting what they want and to protect themselves. The other ones, like I said before and multiple times, you don't have my respect. And that four, get on your ass and start doing something. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Run, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Because it's algorithmic disease, the social media.